All right, everyone. March nineteenth, two thousand and thirteen. Are you ready for this? I want to thank a viewer of mine, Allison, who sent me this article. It looks like there might be hope for John Paul II and Nimrod or Osiris. Scientists resurrect an extinct frog? And they call this the Lazarus Project? Scientists resurrect Bonker's extinct frog that gives birth through its mouth. It's been going on since 1983. But the Lazarus Project has brought it back to life. I don't know what to think about this. Hold on, hold on. In 1983, the world lost one of its weirdest frogs, the gastric brooding frog native to tiny portions of Queensland, Australia, gave birth through its mouth, the only frog to do so. In fact, very few other animals in the entire animal kingdom do this. That's probably because it's strange. It's mostly this frog and a few fish. It's, a, it's succumbed to extinction due to mostly non-human related causes, parasites, loss of uh, habitat, invasive weeds, a particular kind of fungus. There were two subspecies, the northern and southern gastric brooding frog, and they both became extinct decades ago in the mid-80s sometime. Except, what if they didn't? Taking place at the University of Newcastle, the quest to revive the gastric brooding frog became known as the Lazarus Project. Using a uh, somatic cell nuclear transfer, a method of cloning, like Dolly the sheep, like the spider goats, like Akhenaten, like Nimrod. Uh, the project has achieved the major step forward of creating an early embryo of the extinct frog. Essentially, they found a related frog, the great barred frog, which also lives in Queensland and has cool eye markings like it's wearing sunglasses, deactivated its eggs and replaced them with eggs taken from the extinct frog. That's going to get better in a minute, so don't go nowhere yet. Even though the gastric brooding frog has been extinct for decades, it's possible to do this because individual specimens were kept preserved in, believe it or not, I need my coffee, everyday deep freezers. Oh, Jesus, please come back. Please, Jesus, come back today. When going through a somatic cell nuclear transfer, the eggs began to divide and form into the early embryo stage. Cloning DNA, the embryos didn't survive much longer than that, but it was confirmed that these embryos contain genetic information from the gastric brooding frog that yes, in fact, they have brought it back to life. They brought it back to life. The researchers are confident but this is a technical, not biological problem at this stage to breed gastric brooding frogs to adulthood. Why would you want to? Are these frogs? Uh, is this, is this uh, something from the abyss? This is a big step forward for the worldwide attempts to revive other extinct animals. They want to bring other dead, extinct animals back to life. The Lazarus Project researchers will soon meet with those working to revive the woolly mammoth, the dodo bird, what? And other extinct, extinct beasts to share what they've learned. That's what we need walking around uh, our, our, our city streets. We need a woolly mammoth and a dodo bird. Oh, and in case you're uh, wondering, the gastric brooding frog lays eggs, which are coated in a substance called prostaglandin. This substance causes the frog to stop producing gastric acid in its stomach, 
thus making the frog's stomach a very nice place for eggs to be. So the frog swallows the eggs, incubates them in her gut, and when they hatch, the baby frogs crawl out of her mouth. How delightful, I guess. How delightfully weird. The Lazarus Project. And they want to bring back the woolly mammal. The Toto. I don't know, everyone. Maybe there is hope uh, to bring Nimrod back. Or Akhenaten. Or to clone someone. To clone someone that is a world leader. I don't know. Leave me comments. Oh, Yeshua. Oh, Jesus. Please, please. Father God, send the bridegroom today. Please, leave me comments.